Day two of the 2023 season. LSU will be involved in a couple of games tomorrow as well to close out the Tiger Invitational. That's a call third strike on the outside corner. Again, the 3-2 pitch. Hit to the left side. Pleasance backhand side. Comes up throwing. Bounces it in. Got her at first base. That is sensational. An incredible play deep in the hole on the backhand side by Taylor Pleasance. Let's look at it again. It appeared that the foot was down before the ball got to the glove of Georgia Clark, but was it on the base? The call on the field has been upheld. The 3-2 pitch again. Again, spoiled foul left side. Well, Briggs has been awarded first base. It must have been an illegal pitch of some sort, which would be a ball. A 1-1. Smashed on a line into right field, a clean base hit. It's picked up on one hop by the right fielder, and Pleasance bangs one sharply to right as she yanked it and collects her third base hit of the season. Here's the first pitch. Way wide off the glove of the catcher, the runners advance on the passed ball. And she misses low and away, so the one-two to Petty. Rounded up the middle, shortstop makes the play with her glove, then flips it by the second baseman, two Tigers score. Watley made a heck of a play moving to her left. With the ball in her glove, she tried to flip it to the second baseman, it went awry, and two LSU Tigers have scored on the play. The pitch bounces in, that's ball four. So the runners advance on the walk. That's ripped right back from whence it came and hit so hard that only one Tiger could score. Rudity lashes one right back through the circle. Clark strolled in from third. Petty had to hold up at third base because that ball got to the center fielder, Howie, in a hurry. So LSU adds to its lead on the first base hit of the season by Rudity as she lines it back over the shoulder of the pitcher, Tarney Steptoe and had those three RBI. This is caught in foul ground. The runner tags from third. The throw through is not in time. The throw back to third base not in time either. So a sacrifice fly in foul ground by Hannah Carson and the Tigers add to their lead, contributed offensively. She dribbles this one to the right side, short second baseman covering and the out is made. Stewart on a close play is thrown out, a 3-4 put out. Merzon throws another off-speed pitch and freezes Abby Doerr. That's the second strikeout, looking to become the first Oregon State base runner. And she won't on that pitch. It's the third strikeout recorded by Burzon. They've all Probably been looking, another 1-2-3 inning. Coffee reaches for one. The shortstop unleashes and gets Coffee on a very close play. Coffee has immediately signaled that she would like to have a replay, and Lindsay Leftwich, the first base coach, is there as well. Let's take another look at this. Oh. Yep, yep, I think they're going to reverse this. They have overturned the original call, and that's good umpiring. 4 nothing Tigers, bottom of the second. Coffee is on her way to second base. The throw is a good one, but Coffee beats the throw. The 3-2 pitch is hit high. It's hit deep. Way back it goes. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. A three-run home run for Taylor Pleasance, the first of the year for the LSU Tigers. And Taylor Pleasance drives one. Deep over the left, over the center field wall, a little bit toward left field. A knock of probably 240 feet or so, and the Tigers on that swing score three and take a 7-0 lead. Here's another look. Just to the left of the sign out in center field, Taylor Pleasance collects the first home run of the year for LSU. Oh, that was close. And Petty is hit by the pitch. 
That bore in on her to center field. This ball's hit sharply on one hop. It eats up the second baseman, Clark. Here's the throw from the right fielder. It's cut off, and LSU has another run. Four in the first and four in the second. So Allie Newland hits a sharp single, just too hot to handle on the short, awkward hop for the second baseman, Clark. Newland with an RBI single. Rudity smashes one down to the first baseman who makes a great play, gets the out at second, but LSU scores another run as Petty delayed and then saw the throw go to second base and then moved to the plate from third. There's a smash to left, the first base runner of the game for Oregon State as Morgan Howie delivers at the bottom of the order. 1-1 one, one pitch is off the mark and unplayable by the catcher. It rolls up the left side. Runners advance for a year before returning as an assistant coach. And that ends the inning as we move on. Oregon State gets a base runner, but the shutout continues. It's 9-0 Tigers. This is bunted to the left side, and there's absolutely no chance to get Sierra Briggs. Sierra Briggs is like a bottle rocket on her way to first base. Clark hits it high. She hits it deep to the opposite side. And it is gone. A home run just out of the reach of the right fielder's extended glove. Gottlieb went back to the wall, leaned back as far as she could, but you can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. The first two home runs of the season coming in this game, one by Pleasance, a three-run home run in the second, and this one by Clark, a two-run home run in the third. And LSU with a 10-0 lead. Let's look at the swing again. A towering drive, hanging like a Chinese balloon, and then just out of the reach of the right fielder, Gottlieb. And a strike on the outside corner. That pitch has been called consistently for both sides. Pleasance makes the long, strong throw from shortstop, a three up, three down inning. The new catcher. And then Stewart, this one goes the other way, drops in front of the left fielder for a base hit. So Rudity has her second hit of the game. Two of those have been homers. This is headed for an open space as it bounces along the warning track in right center field. Rudity rounds third, and she will score without a play. Macy Bergeron doubles into the right center field gap and produces an RBI. She's had three consecutive base hits now over the course of the last two nights. That's an inside out swing. She got enough power on it to drop it near the warning track. Rudity was able to take off with a flash as she read that ball very, very well. Hendigus can't pick it up cleanly. Everybody is safe. That's the third time tonight that Stewart has rolled it to the right side. Hendigus. Pleasance reaches for one. And Hendigus ends the fourth inning with a couple of impressive strikeout pitches. Abby Dore at the plate. She has been at the plate once tonight and struck out. She lobs this one to shallow center field. Actually, it stays on the back of the infield, and a new second baseman makes the play. One-two pitch. Tapped back to the circle. Burzon leaps and grabs it and then turns it into an out. Sidney Burzon, a pitch away from a one-hit shutout in her debut. And she gets it done. That's the first time that she has recorded a strikeout with the batter swinging five strikeouts on the night. Sidney Burr's on a storyline this evening. A one-hit shutout through five innings in the victory for LSU. 12-0 the final. The Tigers get it done.